Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you my 10 recommendations for your next Criterion purchase. So stay tuned. So today I thought I would give you my recommendations on 10 Criterion titles that I would recommend you buying if you don't already have these in your collection. Of course, some of these are going to be pretty obvious because they're on a lot of other people's um, list as far as top recommendations. Um, but these are definitely in no particular order. Um, they are in alphabetical order, so they are in some kind of order. But um, I did want to go ahead and just take time to show you um, these titles and let you know why I think that you should have these in your collection. So first up we have 12 Angry Men. Great film. Um, I recently saw this in probably about two years ago for the first time and really enjoyed it. And it is a great film directed by Sidney Lumet, and it stars Henry Fonda and a cast of other great actors. If you like older films and courtroom dramas, then this is definitely a film that you should check out. It does have a whole bunch of special features available. Um, one of my favorites is the 1955 television version um, of this particular story. It's definitely got some great packaging um, with the booklets and the discard. Okay, my next choice is Badlands. Um, this right here stars Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek. And it's a Terrence Malick film. Really interesting story um, about the notorious Charles Starkweather killing spree, um, which is played by Martin Sheen. Now this is one of Sissy Spacek's earlier films, and I think she did a great job, her and both Martin Sheen together. And one of the great special features on this one is a 1993 episode of American Justice that, um, that talks about the real life story on which this um, film was loosely based. So definitely check this one out. Okay, next up is a Joel and Ethan Cohen film um, called Blood Simple. Um, I saw this one about three years ago, I believe, and really enjoyed it. I had never seen it before. But it does have a great story, and of course it stars Frances McDormand, and um, she has a great performance in this as she does in all of her films. And it's definitely loaded with a lot of great special features also. Okay, next up we have a great title called Detour. Um, I had a recommendation to purchase this and watch it from David from Cartoon Fortress, and I really did enjoy this film. So this film focuses on one man and one woman and some of the troubles that they have gotten into um, on this detour. So definitely check this one out if you're a fan of film noir. Um, it's a great film and I just definitely recommend you checking this one out. Okay, next up is another film that I watched recently, probably last year. And it is The Game, starring Michael Douglas. I've always wanted to see this movie and just never took the time to do it. So during the pandemic, when I actually had some extra time, I actually started watching a lot of these Criterion releases. And The Game was one of them. Now this is a David Fincher film um, that stars Michael Douglas and his younger brother Sean Penn, who has given um, Michael Douglas's character a voucher to play a game. And it's hard to tell if the game is actually happening in real life or if it's all just um, pretend and make-believe. And of course, with all these Criterion releases, it does have some great special features. Okay, my next recommendation is The Killing. This is a Stanley Kubrick film. Really very, um, it's a really a very good older film. Of course, in black and white. Now, this is a black and white film about a race, um, a racetrack robbery. And this particular release also comes with a bonus movie um, called Killer's Kiss. So it's definitely worth the purchase. Okay, next up we have a Joan Crawford film called Mildred Pierce. Um, I watched this one earlier in this year, during this year and really enjoyed it. I've been wanting to see a lot more of the Joan Crawford movies. And this was definitely one of those that I would definitely recommend that you check out. No matter what everybody says about Joan Crawford, 
She really does know how to play a character. So this movie stars Joan Crawford, who is playing Mildred, the lead character. And she is a single mother who's trying to, to do the best for her family, for her and her daughter. Um, she started out as, well, she, of course, started out married, then was divorced, and then had to get a job as a waitress, and then ended up actually purchasing a restaurant chain, which was very successful. And then the story just kind of goes from there as far as the hardships that she went through to make sure that everything that she had put in place sticks around. So definitely check this one out. So next up is a film that I saw in the theaters when it was released, and it is Moonstruck. Now Moonstruck stars Cher and Nicolas Cage, and probably one of Cher's greatest performances um, as far as acting. Um, I would say that I like this one. Of course, I like Mask, and I like Silkwood. And then, of course, I enjoy Mermaids, and I'm trying to think if there's any other uh, movies that she played in. But Moonstruck is probably her best performance from all of those. Um, now this film also stars Nicolas Cage in Olympia Dukakis with Danny Aiello and it's about an Italian-American family that lives in Brooklyn and it just pretty much goes on with the stories of their lives. Lots of great extra special features included in this one as a lot of these Criterion releases have so I would definitely recommend you checking this one out. Okay next up we have Notorious Notorious, another great film, an older black and white um, film from Alfred Hitchcock. This one stars Ingrid Bergman, who plays Alicia, and also it stars Cary Grant, who is a U.S. spy. There are a lot of great Alfred Hitchcock films that I enjoy, um, which this right here was not one of those that I had actually ever um, took the time to watch. You know, most of the time when people think of Hitchcock, they think of Psycho, The Birds, all those um, mainstream films, but I was very happy to finally check out Notorious. So definitely check it out and tell me what you think about it. Okay, lastly, we have a film with Dustin Hoffman called Tootsie. Now, before there was Mrs. Doubtfire, um, there was Tootsie. So Mrs. Doubtfire was a story um, based on a father who wanted to spend more time with his children, so he dressed up like a woman. So this particular film stars Dustin Hoffman, who plays Tootsie, um, so that he can um, be an actor in a soap opera. So Dustin Hoffman's character is having a very hard time finding a job as an actor, um, and then a job for a, film, a female actress came, um, comes open for soap opera, and he has to dress in this character to be able to um, be in that soap opera. Now this is another film that I actually saw in the theater when it was released. So it had been a very long time since I had seen this one and Criterion did a great job with this particular release. And I would definitely recommend you checking this one out. I think this is one of his best performances since Kramer vs. Kramer. So those are my 10 recommendations for your next Criterion pickup. Um, please let me know if you've seen any of these films and what you think about my recommendations. And also let me know what you think about this particular video because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.